Hi, this is Colton from WhiplashPC.com. Today we have the XFX Radeon HD 6850. It has 1GB of GDR5 on it, and it also has DirectX 11. It has AMD's iFinity. It's Crossfire capable. It also has AMD Parallel Processing. On the back, it has the, uh, shows how it supports PCI Express 2.1. It's 1080p full support. Windows 7. It has a display port on it. It has an HDMI port on it. 7.1 HD audio and as I said earlier DirectX 11 so we're gonna go ahead and open it up and see what we have here the packaging itself is pretty slim it's nice it feels nice it's wax as you can see it comes with a black box really nothing to it, it just says xfxforce.com on it and it says xfx play hard on it in here you have the uh, Pro Power Supply series. They're trying to spread the word that they have power supplies out. I've never tried one, but they do look pretty nice, and I think everybody that has had one that I know says they're pretty good. So if you're looking for a power supply, you might want to check them out. As you can see, it comes with a limited warranty information book. It just basically tells you what you need to do if it breaks or if it's not working right, what you're covered under. It gives you an install guide here too. And that's just showing you how to install it basically. It shows you how to plug your monitor in, removing the cable from your other video card, plugging the power in, and how to do it and what not to do. It gives you basically the full fail proof setting of how to do it. It shows you how to install the catalyst drivers. It comes with that too, I'll show you that in a second. But it gives you a step by step guide as you can see. Really nothing to it. If you want to do that, you'll figure that out when you buy it. But uh, in here it has the driver disc. This is the little uh, plain hard thing. It says, do not disturb XFX Gaming. It's a uh, door hanger. It's pretty nice looking. It's uh, nothing special, but it's just kind of a little thing to give you with it. I think that's about it for this. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing in there. I think that's what the CD was supposed to go with. They didn't. In here, we have the video card. It looks very nice. Go ahead and see. Yeah, that's all there is to the box, so we'll go ahead and pull it out of here. It's pretty sturdy. It has a nice fan on it. It says 6850 on the top. There's a heat pipe in there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, very nice. It's snapped a little bit in there because it was a piece of plastic hanging there, but it came off, so it's fine. Uh, it's a nice fan. Uh, these run a little loud. I've had a few of them before. Uh, they run generally a little louder than most video cards, but uh, they're actually very good. They play Call of Duty Black Ops, any game like that, Bad Company. Uh, they play them fairly decent for the price. Uh, everything runs with 60 FPS on higher settings. So if you're looking for a good mid-range card, I'd say this is one to look at for sure. It has a, war a warranty void if remove sticker on there. Uh, it also gives you the part number back there. It has air holes here. This is where the power adapter is going to go. There's the PCI Express 2.1 bracket. But as you can see, it's a nice card. It's pretty solid. Uh, it's DirectX 11 support. It also has 1 gig of GDR5, I said. Um, it has two DVI, an HDMI, and a display port. A display port is not an HDMI, that's a different type of port completely. So if you're looking at getting one of those, you got to make sure your monitor supports it or you'll have to buy an adapter. Or you can just use the good old two DVI or an HDMI, whatever you want to use. But it's a very nice solid card. It's great for the price. I highly recommend it. And if you're looking for a video card in the mid-range from ATI, this is probably one to look at. So thanks for viewing this video and be sure to check out my other ones. Hey, thanks for viewing this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up below and subscribe above. Thank